Hey guys, my name is Marcela and this is Nacho. Today, Nacho and I want to show you how to clean your home when you have a pet. And our first tip today is going to be invest in a good vacuum. Even if you don't have a pet, it's a great idea to have a vacuum. I cannot tell you enough how many times I've been asked by people if they should have a vacuum even though they don't have any carpets. And the answer is always yes. And this gets even more important when you have a pet. Make sure you get a vacuum that has the right attachments one for hardwood floors, one for carpets, and of course, the attachments for upholstery and edges and all that kind of stuff. I know that sometimes it might be a little pricey, but keep in mind that when you invest in a good vacuum, you're also investing in good health because the vacuum will pick up absolutely every little hair that your babies live around and then it'll be much better for you because you're gonna breathe a better air. My second tip is to have always a mix of half vinegar and half water handy. Mix in a spray bottle and then you will use that to clean around because even if we don't like it, our beautiful little pets sometimes may smell a little weird, different from us, the humans. So when you clean with vinegar, you will get rid of any kind of odors around. It will also help you if your pet is not completely trained to pee outside and sometimes they have little accidents so you can just clean around. So vinegar can make two great things. One, it will neutralize any kind of odors around and two, pets usually don't like the smell of vinegar so they will not go to that specific area, especially cats. Tip number three, sprinkle baking soda on all of the carpets around your home. Leave them for about 20 to 30 minutes. If you can leave them for a longer time, even better, but at least 20 to 30 minutes, it will be fine. And then vacuum. This will neutralize any kind of odors around your carpet. My tip number four is that even though we try our best to neutralize any kind of odors around the home, the vacuum sometimes might smell a little weird. So we're gonna fix that by putting a few drops of um, essential oils on a piece of tissue. Then we're going to vacuum those tissues. The smell is going to circulate inside the vacuum and what will happen is that the nice smell of the um, essential oils will go through the vacuum to your home. Another thing you guys can do is to change the filter of your vacuum regularly. If your vacuum doesn't have an interchangeable filter and it's washable, make sure you wash it uh, consistently as well. You have to be sure to let it dry, air dry, for at least 24 hours before you put it back. Otherwise, it will get moldy. My tip number five is to wipe your pet's paws every time you walk him out. So every time I walk Nacho out and then we come back, he will get a little wipe down on each of his paws. This way, he will not bring any kind of dirt from the outside to our floors or to our couch. Nowadays, there are a whole variety of wipes for our pets, but please keep in mind that you cannot use baby wipes. Even though those are super gentle for our babies, because we as humans have different kind of pH, those might irritate our pet's paws. So just make sure that you use only the ones that are specifically made for pets. If you don't have those, you can also use some paper towel dumped with uh, regular water. My tip number six is that if it is possible to have a vacuum that will also wash your carpets and wash your upholstery. There are many kinds today that are not that expensive. There are some that are very, very little and they will do a great, great job. You, you, you can use that once in a while. You don't need to use it like every week or anything like that. You can use it as you need it, but it will make a huge difference 
in how you keep your couch or how you keep your um, carpets clean. My tip number seven is to coral all your pet's belongings together. So that way you don't have everything spread around your apartment or around your house. It could be really overwhelming to enter your home and have absolutely everything outside. Toys, the leash, bags, and everything else. So make sure you have everything in one place. And number eight, and my final tip for today, is to bathe your pet as regularly and as often as you can. I know it's a lot of work, but you know what? Your pet and your home will thank you. And these are my tips to keep your home organized and clean when you have a pet. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and share with all your friends. And I will see you very soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.